How's it going folks and welcome back to the channel and as part of my ongoing quest to ensure that you get the most out of your football manager today we've got a video on kit packs we've done logo packs we've done face packs today I'm going to show you how to install both 2d kit packs these are the ones that you see on the club profile screen as well as 3d kits these are seen in some of the background scenes within football manager itself and also in the 3d match engine I hope you enjoy this video I hope you find it useful check out some other guides I've got here on the channel there's gonna be a link in the top corner and well without further ado let's get into this so first things first what is a kit pack now as i mentioned these come in two forms we have 2d kits these can be downloaded and installed and they will appear on your club profile screen like so but we do also have 3d kits now the best place to show you these is if i just click edit my manager and then we go to head um you can see here in the background we've got liverpool's full 3d kits all modeled in the game now these kits will appear in your football manager and in the match engine if you install the 3d kit packs they look really really good they look especially nice in 3d of course all the licensed leagues such as the top three leagues in england outside the premier league already have 3d kits but for other leagues that are unlicensed such as the premier league such as syria it really adds a nice touch to your game and i can't recommend it enough and it's not a difficult process so let's get started so the place I go to get all of my 3D and 2D kit packs is sorteoutsi.net. There will be a link in the description to this webpage. It's part of their graphics hub under kits. And as you can see here, there's a few different styles of 2D kits as well as 3D kits in their own unique section. One thing to note is that unlike, say, logo packs and face packs, there isn't really a mega pack for kits as such. Instead, you're going to need to pick kind of the divisions that you want kits in. Now, the place that I like to go to for mine is the SS kit section. It's just my preferred style of kits. Of course, depending on what kit pack you download, um, you're going to go to a slightly different place. But what you need to know is that all the steps once you download the kit pack are the exact same no matter what pack you settle on. So here we have different 2D kits. For example, if we go to this post here, we have the English leagues levels one to six. And uh, yeah, you can just download this pack and this is going to have the top English leagues. Uh, I think for this video, this is the one we're going to go with. So nice and simple, you're just going to hit download, go to one of the free mirrors down here at the bottom. Uh, this is going to open up a media file link in my case. And then once here, you're just going to hit download and suddenly the kits are downloading now in terms of 3d kits the exact process is the exact same we're going to go to the 3d kit section here we have all the different football managers of course this is fm 2022 and then from here there is a link of all the 3d kits that are currently uh, available of course this list will get bigger as the year goes on uh, it takes some talented people in the community to make the 3d kits to be able to use them in this instance, we have the levels 1 to 6 3D English kits. We've just downloaded the 2D ones, so I think these are the ones we're going to grab here. So hopefully now you've been able to download some 2D and 3D kits of your choice in the style that you like. The next step is to move them to the graphics folder for Football Manager. Now this folder by default on Windows is in Users Jack or your name, I suppose, Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2022. There will be a written instruction kind of location down in the description of this video for users on Mac. Uh, within this folder here, it's Football Manager, you're going to want to go to your graphics folder. This is where, if you followed some of my previous videos, we've put logo packs in the past as well as face packs. In this instance here, uh, if you don't have a graphics folder existing, just create a new folder and call it graphics all in lower cases. Now, once you're within here, you're going to paste in the kit packs that you've downloaded. So hopefully now you've got your various different kit packs, be it the England ones that I'm doing here or your leagues of choice. The next step is to extract them. Now, these files that we've downloaded are folders which are bundled up. In order for the game to understand them, we need to unzip these files. Now, most of you, I would like to think at this point, know how to extract files. But if you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, check out the description. There is a link to a guide to WinRAR. Uh, there is a download link as well for WinRAR. That's what I'm going to be using here. You need to download it, install it, follow that separate video guide. And uh, well, hopefully you're going to be good to go for this next step. So what I like to do is I like to just create a folder called kits within graphics. As long as the kit folders exist within the graphics folder, they will work. But just for my own peace of mind, because I like to have lots of different graphics packs, um, it's nice to keep them organized. So alongside my logo packs and my face pack, we now have a kits folder. 
Within here, you're going to put in all of your downloaded RAR files, and uh, all we need to do is now extract them. So I'm going to select them both, click Extract each to separate archive folder, and once we do that, we now have two folders that exist. One is the SS kits and one is the 3D kits. Now, before you go ahead and delete the zip files, we don't need them once they're fully installed. It's worth just checking to make sure that everything has extracted correctly. So if we go within here, we can see all the different 3D and 2D kits. In this case, we have the SS short sleeved 2D kits downloaded and installed. And if we go back to the kits folder and click on our 3D folder, we can see within here, we have the 3D kits, which is what we want to see. Um, if we just double click on these, you can see it's kind of a texture file. This is how it's applied to the game. So once you've successfully unzipped your folders of Football Manager kits to the kits folder, we can now go ahead and delete the WinRAR files. So hopefully if you followed these steps correctly, within graphics, there's going to be a folder called kits. And within the kits folder, there is going to be a whole host of different leagues. Of course, if you want to install Spanish kits, Italian kits, Ukrainian kits, Russian kits, whatever kit pack you want, just go nuts, stick them all in this kits folder. Um, if they're here, they should just work. Now, there is one final step to do just to make sure this whole process works. You're going to need to go to preferences and you're going to need to click on reload skin. Now, if you don't have the reload skin option that you can see here, just to go to interface under the advanced settings of your football manager preferences. Once we're here under the interface section, just make sure that reload skin when confirming changes in preferences is selected. Once you've done that, simply clear the cache. Make sure you click yes on this bit. This step is fairly important click reload skin or just change a setting back and forth and hit confirm. Once you've done all that, the game is going to spend a split second processing. And then once you load up the game, the kit packs will be installed. So just going back to what I showed at the start, I've just started a new save game as Liverpool manager. You can see in the office scenes, we have the 3D Liverpool kits now installed. Uh, additionally, you can see the 2D kit appears here immediately. If you've already got a save game on the go, these graphic packs will work with existing save games. It's not something you need to start a new save game for. If you go to any club profile screen, you'll be able to see all the different kits. And of course, the easiest way to make sure that the 3D kits are working is either to just go into any match or to simply go to your manager profile, click the edit manager appearance crayon. And then if you click on head, you can see the dressing room behind with the 3D kit models installed. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this video from me. You can find full written instructions down in the description. If you're on Mac, the folder location where your kits are going to go is ever so slightly different, but everything else is the exact same in terms of where it goes, what you need to do once you launch Football Manager. If you want to download logo packs or face packs, as I said, check the link in the top corner. I will have it appear again as a card. Um, we have loads of guides on how to fully pimp out your Football Manager to make it look as good as possible. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's been useful, please do drop a like on it. If you have any issues, let me know them in the comments. I will do my best to help you. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And until next time, thank you so much for watching as always. It is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.